You're listening to the Minutes on Growth podcast, the show that brings you mindfully curated insights into relationships, spirituality, personal development, and everything in between with your host, Tanaz Hussainpour. Hi, soul friends. It's Tanaz Hussainpour, and welcome to another short solo episode of Minutes on Growth. Before we begin, I wanted to wish you all a happy 2021, a year filled with a Abundance, abundance of health, abundance of wealth, abundance of love, and all that your heart truly desires. If 2020 taught us anything, it's that life is unexpected. We really can't predict what will happen tomorrow. So we need to make sure that we live every moment of today to the best of our ability to show up authentically, to show up with passion and excitement, to show up with love, to be purpose-led. Which brings me to this week's topic. We hear it all the time. New year, new me. But does a new year mean that you magically change? We're not in a Cinderella story where come midnight, everything transforms. The truth is, our experience of reality changes only when we change. And change, quite frankly, takes effort. Change takes consistency and persistence. Looking back on 2020, I realized that for me personally, it was the year that taught me the importance of reflection, of intentionality, and self-evaluation. Constantly asking myself questions like, is what I'm doing serving my short-term and long-term visions? Or are my thoughts empowering me in my goals? Is my current morning routine limiting my potential? The answer was yes. Is my tribe a reflection of my higher self? 2020 kind of provided me with the space and time to say, hold up, wait a second, let me pause and take inventory of my life, of the path I'm on, and evaluate whether it's aligned with my life purpose, with my dharma, with how I want to share my gifts with the world. It really was an eye-opening year. I must add that all this self-reflection and inner work did not go as smoothly as it sounds. On some days, it was filled with so much frustration, with guilt, with uncertainty, even with shame. But nothing grows in our comfort zone. And sometimes we need to ask ourselves these challenging questions. We really evolve through self-reflection. Which brings me now to 2021. How can we apply past year's lessons to our life now? Well, for starter, we can set an intention to show up every day with a growth mindset that believes with 100% certainty that the universe has your back. Why wouldn't it? You are an extension of source. Your presence alone is an unrepeatable miracle that deserves everything. You being alive is all the proof you need that you are worthy and deserving of all your desires. And the universe doesn't really play favorites. The universe gives to you what you believe you deserve. So if you can step into that truth, then all the cards are stacked in your favor. But so friend, you need to show up. You need to take imperfect, inspired action. Just take the first step and let the path reveal itself to you. Did you know that it took the Egyptians roughly 20 years to build the Great Pyramid? So for 20 years, every single day, they got up and they put limestone block on limestone block. They persevered because they had a vision. And after 20 years, their vision came to life and changed history. It's the same with our life. We need to show up to our own life every single day. We need to set visions that motivate us and inspire us to keep on going. We need to trust that all our efforts will be rewarded. And we need to be patient with the process and the timeline. Do you ever see a gardener speak to the seeds and say, why aren't you growing as soon as he's planted them? No, because it takes time to grow. But he is certain that with the correct amount of sunlight and water, the seeds will grow. 
So this year, I hope that you will consistently water your visions with love and attention. And you will maintain certainty throughout it all. So take a moment and ask yourself, are you ready to evolve into your next higher self this year? Are you ready to let go of what no longer serves you? Are you ready to ask yourself challenging self-reflective questions? And lastly, are you willing to put in the work? It is not a coincidence that you're experiencing the physical realm during the age of Aquarius. Now is the time for you to fulfill your soul's purpose. I'm sure you can do it. And I'm here for you if you need help. Thank you for listening. Speak soon. Thank you for joining us this week on Minutes on Growth. If you enjoyed today's episode, then make sure you never miss a show by clicking the subscribe button now. 